So I am engaged, yes I am, to my wonderful, wonderful fiance. His name is Jorge, but he prefers George, like the English version. So um, we've been going out for four years and seven months and he popped the question when we were on vacation in Costa Rica. I <laughs> was so beyond shocked, you don't even understand. I had no idea that he even bought the ring. I had no idea that he we were always talking about like marriage and like I was always showing him like little pictures of things I would see on like Instagram and like Pinterest and stuff. I'd be like, oh my god, like when we get married, this is what you know, we can do this and we can do that and like all this stuff. But I never really had it in my mind that the engagement was so soon like that it was so funny because the day of no or I don't think it was a day of I think it was like when we first got there which was he proposed on a Saturday we got there on Thursday so I think it was either Thursday or Friday I had actually shown him a picture of um, this like save the date um, like flyer thing that I saw on Instagram because one of my favorite uh, like artists on Instagram she drew a couple and it was like so cute and I was like oh my god we can do this when we get married or whatever like when we're announcing our marriage or whatever and he was like oh yeah yeah cool so anyways fast forward to Saturday he did it on the 3rd which was my or which is my friend's birthday October the 3rd but it was also our anniversary because our year anniversary is March 3rd so you know obviously the third year anniversary so it was our four year seven month anniversary on October the, th the third which is also Mean Girls Day so we he was acting weird the whole day like the whole day he was a little off like he was very serious always like in thought and I was just like what's wrong and he was like nothing nothing and I was like okay like we went to the beach that day uh, and it was a two hour ride from the resort we were staying at because the resort we were staying at was all the way on top of the mountains and the beach was not on top of the mountains so you had to like drive for two hours so um, in the drive he was just like so focused and like didn't want to say anything and I was like okay what is your problem then he was saying that he had to go to the lobby of the resort which was separate like you're you have like little villas and then the lobby is separate so you, it's like down the hill so he was like oh i have to go down the hill because i want to make sure my friend's name is michelle and he was like i want to make sure like everything's set up for michelle's birthday because we're gonna make a surprise for her and she has her own boyfriend who's there and i was like okay like i don't know why you have to be the one to plan everything for her but i was like okay i mean i guess yeah go and he was like well because she has her like her boyfriend is there he's gonna be very suspicious if he keeps leaving she's gonna be very suspicious if he keeps leaving so i was like okay like okay whatever so when we got back from the beach we all showered and we were going to go eat for michelle's birthday so i was like washing my hair wash my hair and everything so my hair was soaking wet i didn't want to blow dry it because i knew the next day i think we were going to the pool or something so i just left it down so put in like a ponytail i had this off the shoulder dress which kind of made my boobs really look big <laughs> i'll insert a picture here of the dinner like what what we were wearing at the dinner so um then so yeah so then we were at the dinner and again he was very weird like he <laughs> just was very quiet was very like into his own thoughts and I was just like are you okay like the whole day pretty much I'm asking like are you okay are you okay are you okay he's like yeah like stop asking me like I'm fine and then later on he told me that he was just like he wanted to pick a really good moment obviously like the best moment he could so that's why he just was just like always in thought because he was just like is it now like should I do it now oh my god I'm so nervous I'm so scared like things like that so after dinner we all went to go see the stars so they turn off all the lights like in the resort at nine o'clock like all the like street lights and there's a pool and a sauna and stuff and they turn off all the lights there like you have to go to the lobby and ask them to turn it on after nine so with all the lights shut off you can see the stars like everything is so nice like you can see all the stars like the light the sky filled up it was so beautiful so we were all there we were all watching it and then we had to use our phone the flash to light our way because it was pitch black and then all of a sudden he had his light his his camera on or whatever and his flashlight and then all of a sudden he asked my friend's boyfriend to hold his phone he's like oh can you hold my phone and i'm like thinking like why is he asking him to hold his phone that's kind of weird and then he <laughs> turns and he's like oh you know i love you very much and i want us to be together always and i was like what is happening right now 
And then he bends down on one knee and everyone, like, there's a group of, I think, eight of us. So all six other people started, like, coming around us and taking pictures and, like, filming. And then they were like, he was like, oh, will you marry me? And then he takes out the ring and I was just like, I was so shocked. I'm not even joking. I was so shocked because I had no idea at all. So I was just like, oh my god. And I was like, yes, like, of course. This is the man that I definitely knew I wanted to marry. We were always talking about, like, getting married and, like, living together and all that stuff. So, I mean, it was a no-brainer. I was just so shocked because it, I've never been so surprised in my life. Like, never. So, of course, I said yes. And then I'm not a crier. Like, I'm not one of those people who are like, oh my god. It's so beautiful. Like, I'll say, like, oh, that's so nice or whatever. But I'm not, I'm not really, like, the crying type. And I was like crying so that's how emotional I was I was like yes <laughs> so it was all so very romantic and I loved it like it was perfect we were on vacation we were in this beautiful amazing spot so much nature around us we had you know some of our, be our best friends there and it was just beautiful it was awesome and I couldn't have asked for a better proposal at all so you know and then we went and like told everybody afterwards and it was it was awesome so what I want to start doing is for all those brides to be, maybe we can do this journey together. So I want to start just kind of doing maybe like a bi-weekly vlog of just like my journey into like planning the wedding and marriage and all that stuff. So I am one of those planner girls as you guys can see on my channel. I have like planner videos and all that stuff. So what I immediately did as soon as we like got to the states like literally the next day i went to go get this ring resized because it has to be resized twice because it was a six originally and i am a five but even this is a five and it still kind of i don't know fits a little loose but i think that's okay it doesn't like fall off of my hand like if i did this the very first one did like was starting to move but i feel like it's okay for it to be a little loose because like if you know i gain weight or whatever or like have a baby or something like your fingers get fat so maybe like being a little loose is okay as long as it's not gonna like go flying off if I like go like this you know so I think it's okay it's a five right now so I'm pretty sure that's fine um but yeah I had to get the ring resized and then of course I went into Barnes and Nobles and I got some books so I just want to show you guys what I got so um the very first time I went to Barnes and Nobles I got these two books which the first one is the not complete guide to weddings and it's the ultimate source of ideas, advice, and relief for the bride and groom and those who love them. So I got this. And this is, um, it has about like 400 pages. It says, without the index, it is, sorry, there's just a lot. 419, sorry, 420 pages. And it's just awesome because it has a lot of stuff for you to know. Like, for example, this. I didn't even know this like I am completely I've been to weddings I've been a, a part of weddings but I've never obviously had to plan a wedding so I don't even know like who goes down the aisle first and like what's the like it just has a lot of good information here so if you're looking for something very like extensive get this book and this was 22 bucks so if you have i had a coupon because i'm a member at uh barnes and noble so if you have a coupon and stuff you might even be able to find it for cheaper on amazon and stuff but yeah it's the not complete guide to weddings that i also bought this because i remember seeing somewhere i forgot where maybe youtube somebody was like you definitely need like a binder so you can like stick all your stuff in it like any like cards that people give you business cards and all of that so this one is from I don't know it doesn't I took off the little thing but it's just a blue big huge ass binder and it's from the author is Mindy Weiss and it's just as the wedding planner and organizer this is what it looks like it's huge when we start like finally like you know finalizing things and even just because I don't want to take this with me everywhere you know like if I'm going to see a place I don't want to be there with this huge ass binder that weighs like 10 pounds like no um but side note I did get these really cute thing like to put my name down that's from um, Mambi me and my big ideas I got it from Michaels but this is really good because it has things like the big picture and it just says like you know like 
when you finally got everybody down like your wedding contacts and wedding planner and we're not getting a wedding planner uh i'm the wedding planner and we're not using an officiant because oh i guess we are that's a person at city hall but we have the ceremony venue down we don't have the reception venue down but we'll see and then you just put everyone a like caterer musicians dressmaker uh invitation designer photographer videographer floral florist hairstylist makeup artist all these things um and then it gives you like the long engagement week by week planner so it gives you like 12 months what to do 11 months 10 months 9 months and i like that because it keeps you on track because if not i wouldn't know what i should have already had done it is though a little overwhelming sometimes because like 12 months like we just got married got married well we just got engaged three weeks ago and already you were supposed to have gotten like two four six seven things done and it's just like whoa like when do you stop and like breathe it in which is why i've been gone for youtube for about three weeks because we just kind of want to like breathe it in even though i have been very busy like looking at places like we're we have set up a budget and then we're also like later on this year or next year we also have to start looking for apartments so it's a lot which is why i want to start doing bi-weekly vlogs just to kind of bring everybody with me and if you're going through this yourself maybe we can give each other tips and tricks and you don't have to feel like you're by yourself because I don't want to feel like I'm by myself, you know, it's just like a lot to take on. So it also has like a budget and everything like that you have, every section has pockets which are really good because you need to put down your papers so you don't lose them. Then like location, 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 the guest and the invitations, the dress, music, photography and videography, the rentals and then making it official is the last thing. And then in the back, I like because it has um, places to put business cards and a big envelope here. And then it also has a place to put notes down. So if you can see. So those are the first two things that I got. And then I also got some magazines. I'm missing one. I can't find it. But I got the bridal guide. This one. <laughs> and then I also got the Martha Stewart, I think, wedding um, magazine. So I like these just because you get to see like colors and like they sometimes have good uh ideas and advice so i like these but just know that vital magazines are more expensive than the regular magazines like this one is six bucks and the other one i think was the same so then i went to barnes and nobles again because i we were starting to we're starting to now like uh, see what venues are in our budget and all that stuff like we've already visited one venue which we really really like we probably will go with that one but we need to see others as well so we're seeing two more venues before this month is over and then um, I'll have to see more venues afterwards so I picked up this book which is the instant wedding planner by Jennifer L Sean and I'll leave everything down below as well so if you want to get it yourself and this one it's pretty much like that big binder but in a much smaller version so you can actually take it with you so and i did take it with me when we saw that first one that first venue because i wanted to make sure that all the questions that i needed to ask were answered so they have like all these questions so for example like for the venue i hope you can see it like they have like the site number and like th like this is my second one that i'm gonna go see and then it has like a whole bunch of questions to ask like how many restrooms are there? Where are they located? What is the cancellation policy? Are tables, chairs, dance floors, linens, and tableware included? Um, are there extra charges for rehearsal dinner? And so on and so on and so forth. And it also has like the name of the, the venue. If you're using it for the reception, ceremony, or both. Um, the date. It says date of phone call, but I crossed it out and I put date of tour. So that way I know when I visited it. Visited it. The address, the website, name of primary contact, and their phone number. And just like all these awesome things so then it also tells you like what to like ask like after the fact ask yourself and then um it's really really good so and then it also has like a countdown checklist in the beginning of each section so like here this is awesome i definitely think every bride to be should have something like this so you can take it with you so you don't forget anything and this one was $17, $16.95. But of course, you can find it online, probably for cheaper. And if you're a member at Barnes & Noble like I am, you get it for a little bit cheaper as well. And they also have coupons like every now and then. And then the last book that I bought, I'm telling you, I am a planner addict and a book addict. Like, you don't understand. So the last book that I got, and the last book that I'm probably going to get, because I don't, also don't want to be too consumed with books, because then you get so many different, like, advice and opinions coming at you. You're just like, oh. So this one is The Bride's Survival Guide. 
150 mistakes you should avoid for the perfect wedding and this is from Sharon Naylor and I like it because it does tell you things like um, inviting people thinking they won't be able to attend not following office protocol allowing some guests to bring kids after you've said no kids allowing parents guest list to take over your space like just things that you need to know so yeah and this one was $14 so so that is today's video those are all the books that I've gotten uh, I think probably in the next gotten those are the books that I have bought excuse me apparently my English goes away when I'm talking about this um, and I think for the next vlog I'll probably try to take you with me to the other place that we're seeing and maybe that way you can kind of like get a sense of like questions to ask and like what you should be what the tour person should be like telling you and stuff I think it would be really fun I don't know if I'm able to do it because I don't know what their pro like their policy is for videography like taking videos and pictures but Either way, I'll let you guys know. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in...